Hi, I'm Jason from O10, the largest provider of online and distance education and training for TAFE New South Wales. Now, I'm here today at Narimba College at the Green Skills Hub with O10 teacher John. What are you going to be talking about today, John? Thanks, Jason. We're going to be looking at how to measure an existing building. So we're going to look at um, things you'll need to do to measure a building, the elements you need to look out for, and the process of measuring an existing building uh, for any plans to be done for an alterations and addition. We're going to need a few tools for this job, so I've got my laser distance measurer and my measuring tape. What else do we need, John? Pencil, rubber, need some, if you could get some grid paper, it's, um, you can buy it from stationery shops, clipboard and plain piece of paper. Great, let's get into it. Let's go. John, on a job like this, what's the first thing you would do when it comes to measuring? First thing you ought to do is site the building. Do a sketch of the building and any features or elements within the building, for example, your doors, your windows, and any features that are part of the building. Then from there, we'll take um, the sketch, our tape measure, and we start measuring our building. Great. Okay. Well, if you need me, give me a yell. I shall. Okay. I'm going to start my first measurement of this building. I want to go from the corner of the building to the edge of the window. And I'm going to measure now from the window opening across. Now I'm going to measure from the window opening to the door. And now I'm going to measure the door opening to the entry, the entry to the house. And now from the door entry to the garage door opening. And then the garage door opening measurement, I'm going to, I'm going to measure that full opening. and now measuring from the garage door opening to the end of the house. Now I'm going to start the height measurements of this building. I'm going to go to the entry door and I'm going to now measure the floor to the head height of the door. I'm going to repeat this for the garage door opening. I'm going to use the laser measuring tool. I'm going to place it on the floor and then shoot the beam up to the eave overhang. Now that I've finished measuring the heights, I'm just going to grab the tape measure and just get a rough idea of the eave overhang that we have on this building. Now that we've come inside, just like we did for the outside, I'm going to sketch the inside of this building and I'm going to sketch this room. Now that I've finished sketching, I'm going to start to measure the depth and the width of the room. As you can see, I'm using a laser measure tool. Just be very careful of this or note that you should not shine this in anybody's eye or your own eyes because you could cause a lot of damage to your eyes. As you can see, there is a blade wall here. I'm going to have to measure this wall on its own. And I would repeat this for any other features or elements within the room that cannot be done with the laser measure. Now we're going to go repeat this process for every room of the house. Now that we've finished measuring the building externally and internally, it's good to just go over your drawings and quickly check if you've got all the information required. And then you can take a few photos of the house internally and externally and make sure you've got uh, key features or elements in there. 
which allows you to go back to the office, draft the plans up, and then you could do the alterations in addition or whatever is required to the house. So how do we go, John? We've completed measuring and drawing the building. Great. So what we've done, we've done external measurements of the building. So we looked at all the features and elements within the building on the outside, doors and windows, and we did some heights of the eaves as well, so we could get a rough roof pitch um, angle of the house. Then we went internally mm -hmm. and we did some internal measurements of the building. So we looked at the features and elements within inside the building, floor to ceiling height, window locations, window sill heights and head heights, and that gives us a good feel of the house. Now we can go back to the office, take all this information and start to draft up the plans and we could do whatever is required, alterations and addition, whatever is needed for the house. Great. Well, thank you very much. Take it easy.